Hello, this is Tom from Market Life, and welcome back to the 100 Trade Review Series. These are trades 26 through 30. Let's get into it. This is CDXC on May 4th, and we're looking at an entry at 540, our stop down at 440. Uh, this is uh, an uptrend and a, a pause, consolidation, and an entry on uh, this bar here. Uh, just above uh, previous day's high. So it looks like there was pretty poor follow through on, uh, on the day of entry and uh, we pretty much gave everything back and we're back in the middle of the consolidation so that's not great but let's see what happens. Okay, uh, trade starts to work in our favor. Uh, these, these wicks from the high are a little bit concerning uh, but who knows how this, how this stock acts. Okay, and a few days later on the 8th, we get stopped out uh, just below our entry. So this is a, a scratch, it's a 0 0.04 loss. So what probably happened is we were up, we were up 0.6 R on the trade and uh, just based on, on the action, how you know it, it keeps wicking up and, and getting pushed back down, I, I decide to put the stop at break even and just Call it, call it there, uh, and that ends up looking like a pretty good stop out because we would have taken the full one-hour loss if we if we hadn't adjusted anything. Okay, let's move on. Right, this is DRD, also on May fourth, and the pattern here is a sideways consolidation after uh, trending higher, and it looks like we're starting to move out of this consolidation. Uh, our entry is 9.91. Our stop is 8.41. And it doesn't really work out immediately. We're kind of grinding sideways. Uh, now it looks like uh, we might start to, to move higher, so the entry might have just been a little bit premature. Uh, and the following day uh, gets stopped out just above break even. So after sitting in the trade for, uh, what is this, 10 days or so, uh, I decide once it starts to look like we're we're going to to move higher. Um, if that fails, I don't want to sit in the trade again for for more grinding sideways action or take a a close to full one hour loss on this. Um, the trade simply would have been, you know, I would have been too soon and I just kind of take a step back and and watch what what develops. Um, so that's basically a break even trade. Um, and you can see, yeah, we just it would have just trickled back down, so uh, not much more to say about that. Although I do, I do know DRD. I think one of our best trades is in DRD at a future date. A little, little preview spoiler there. So once we get into the, the, the trades in the 50s, I think uh, we'll, we'll revisit this one. Okay, let's uh, move on. This is FCUUF uh, Fission Uranium Corp which uh, Adam found to be a, an amusing ticker, um, but I leave it up to you to, to decide why. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is uh, like a spooky, I think a Canadian like penny stock basically, and if memory serves correctly, I had to get some special permissions or enable special permissions on my broker to even trade this thing. So just, I guess, keep that in mind when, when, we, uh, when we review this. But I like the pattern. Uh, trending higher from the lows, so nice sideways consolidation with a pretty clear uh, resistance level at 25 cents and uh, a breakout above that. So uh, we are long just above 25 at 25.16 and the stop is at 18. Okay, let's see. And the very next day, we looks like we get some follow through and a very lucky sale uh, near the high. Now I don't remember if that was a limit order that I had in or I just noticed there was a lot of resistance and uh, didn't mind taking some profits on, uh, on a stock like this uh, the very next day. But uh, either way, uh, we got a good sale there on half the position. And a few days later, after some, some grinding sideways, get stopped out of the rest on this bar uh, at around 24 cents. So that is a 0.3R winner total. Okay, let's move on. 
This is OSUR, May 8th, and uh, you'll notice we're seeing a lot of the same kind of pattern here. Uh, trending up from the lows, sideways consolidation, and uh, starting to move higher again here. Uh, looks like I got this right on the open uh, around 1648. Uh, stop is down at 1426. And I wound up taking a profit on the very same day, uh, which turned out to look like a uh, a lucky sale here. Uh, I probably decided to take off half at around 0.5 R since we reached it so quickly and to let the rest run. So, And a couple days later, get stopped out of the second half around break even. So total, this is a 0.3, another 0.3 R win uh, on the trade. And yeah, looks like, uh, again, getting stopped out around break even is uh, well, it's the right decision in hindsight here, obviously, uh, but uh, probably the right decision anyway. Okay, let's move on. And finally, this is UEC on May 8th. Um, again, same, same kind of pattern, trending higher, sideways consolidation, and nice clean breakout. So we are long 121, and stop is 102. And we take a full one hour loss on the trade. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, not much, uh, I don't think much more to go over on this one. So for the past five trades, uh, we're roughly break even uh, on all of them after several roughly uh, one third winners, uh, a scratch, and now this one hour loss. So still grinding it out, but um, there are better times ahead. Okay. Thanks for watching.